So once you install the data loader, if you click on the VAT file, so it will be open on this screen. Just click on the export. Either you can go with OA or password authentication. If you are connecting to the production, just select a production. If it is a sandbox, select a sandbox. So developer edition is a production. So I'm going to connect the developer edition here. Login.salesforce.com. It's a June batch. So click on allow. Taking time, let it take time. It is says that it is connected. Click on continue. No. <clears throat> it's connected. So once it is connected, it will take you to the second step, which is a data, selecting the data or object. Let's say that I wanted to export the candidate's information. Choose here candidate object, second step. And then click on the browse. Once you click on the browse, let's say I wanted to extract. So you can give any file name here. I'm just creating the extract of candidate. Candidates. Right, so click on it, save. <clears throat> so I have selected the target location and candidates is the object. Click on it, next button. Once you click on it, next button, it will ask you that what are the fields that you wanted to select. Let's say I wanted to select the candidate name, contact number, current CTC, right, email address, Expected CTC, ID, is Boolean, is blank, like is blank for text, is blank for number, these are the Boolean. Now, these all information, I'm going to export it. And then location, name, candidate name, notice period, number of interview, position, previous experience, qualification, no, that's all. So as you are selecting here, below the query is implemented automatically. So once it is done, click on your finish method, finish button, and then click on yes. So the operation is in progress. Now it says here two successful extraction and zero errors. Now how many are there? Let's go to the org. So let's see candidates, how many records are there?
Well, let's go to the candidate. So how many records are there? Only two records are there. So it is exported, only two records. So if you want to see the view extraction, click on this view extraction, it will be extracted. So these are the two records which are there. Right, so these are the information. Click on close, click on okay. So once it is done, if you open the folder, you will be able to see here extraction. Right, so this is the file. Let's say, for example, here, I'm going to create a one more candidate record. Let's say I'm going to clone this, clone. Let's say candidate name is Arun Kumar. Click on save and similarly candidates, I'm, I'm going to create a one more. Close. Terminal. Save. Then candidates, let's open this. Click on new clone. Then I'm going to create Manusa. And then click on save. So how many records are there in candidates? I have total five records are there. Total five records are there. Now let's say I'm going to delete fifth record. I'm going to delete the fifth record. So total four records are there. If I click on a export, if I click on export candidates and click on the next button, I need to click on a browse, extract, typeface, dot CSV, dot CSV. Click on next save. And I'm choosing the Candidates. Let's say candidate name, contact number. If you want to select, select all the fields. Then click on it, finish. Now, how many records it is going to pull? It is going to pull four records. It is going to pull the four records. So, four successful extraction and zero errors. Click on OK. Now, if you see the file, so this is the extract, extract CSV file. So this is the total file that we have extracted. Right, so this is the total file that we have extracted. This is a export. Let's say I wanted to go for a export all. So export all is nothing but I wanted to export the all the records, including the deleted records. I have deleted one record. So extract deleted, let's say dot CSV file. And then click on a save. Click on the next button. I'm going to select all the record, all the fields, 
or else if you want to choose it any specific field you can choose it let's say i wanted to remove the created by id and then is blank last activity date last modified by id last modified reference view date notice period owner id i wanted to remove it red system mod so these are the few fields which I am going to delete it. Created date. Fine. So here I'm going to export all that. This is basically it is export all. That means get the records that are exist in the candidate object as well as the deleted records. So total five records it is going to pull. So let's see the view extraction. Now here if you see here there is a option a column called is deleted wherever the is deleted equal to false that means those are not deleted record wherever the is deleted equal to true that is a deleted record that is deleted record so total five record it is pulled now click on ok now we have a export export all right similarly let's say for example i wanted to insert a few candidate records so let's take the exported deleted. Now I'm going to create this. Now let's say I'll give a different names here. Let's say Monalisa. And Ramakrishna and Aruchita. So these are the records I wanted to insert. Now let's delete this, delete it. Now here the email ID. So I have modified the email ID. Similarly, I'm going to modify the this one. Praveen. And then Ramakrishna. Have a Fine. So I'm going to insert a record. So ID is not required. Is deleted is false and this is false. So these are the details as it is and taking it number of interviews. Let's say one. This is my new sheet. That means I'm going to insert these records into the sales force. So let's click on a save. I am going to create a new folder. Let's say here insert. Double click on this. New reports. And it's a extension is dot csv. Click on save. Okay. Now what we will do is let's click on the insert candidates. And I'm going to browse it. Browse, insert new records, click on open. Then click on the next button. Let's say here, click on the next button. CSP file is having error. Let's see. 
तो ओपन द एक्सेल शीट Ma'am, your voice is not audible, ma'am. Yeah. So I'm saving. I'm updating the CSV file. So this CSV file is uh, having some problem. So I'm updating it. So I'm creating the CSV file. Browse. It's created the desktop. Downloads output. And within the insert, I'm going to create a new CSV file, which is let's say end records and click on save. This close this one also. Now click on this browse, choose the latest CSV file, and click on the next button. Different file. There is something problem here. Now let me choose the one which is exported. Browse. Extract. Click on the next. The same file, whatever the file which we have exported, same file I'm importing again. Now here, the step three for inserting it, we have something called mapping and default batch size is 200, right? So that means 200 records for each transaction it gets executed. Now this side, it is whatever it is available. Now here, this, what are these values are there? So these values are from CSV file. What are the CSV file is there from the CSV file? And we need to choose the Salesforce object field. That means we need to map the Salesforce field to like what are the CSV file fields are there, we need to map it. So in order to map, click on this choose and existing mapping. We do not have any existing mapping. So click on this create or a edit map. So for the first time you will not be having it. So just click on create or edit map. So when you click on a create or edit map, tier one option is available, auto match fields. So automatically it will match all the fields, what are the required fields are there, everything it will match automatically. So click on this OK and click on the next button. And I'm going to choose the folder. What are the problematic, like when we are inserting it, as we have discussed last class, when we are inserting it, there are two pulse gets created in the folder. One is successful folder and the second one is successful CSV file and the second one is error CSV file. So two file, two Excel sheet gets created. Click on this yes. Now it is loading, inserting the data. So before we were having a four records, now it is four records are successfully created. For insert, there are two files will be created two csv files gets created success file and error file so let me show you that see here it is a success file and then error file so two csv files gets created for the insert so let me show you the one which is successful click on a ok 
and then click on right drive button here. So once you click on a refresh button, now we can see that there are four more records got inserted. So total eight records in the eight records are there in the candidates. Similarly, update is nothing but you are updating the data. Upsert is it's an insert as well as the update. Let's say here for the same file. So whatever the success file is there, I'll take the success file. Now for this success file, I'm just updating the name. So for one of the candidate, name is not available. So what I'll do is, I'll just say here, new name. So let's say here, Arun Kumar. Arun Kumar, I'm updating the fourth record. I'm updating the fourth record. And let's say second record. And the first record, I'm creating the new one. Let's say here the name is Deepak. This is a new record. And then Sachin, new record. And similarly, the third one is Suresh. So this is also new record. Now file, save as in 1999. I'm going to create this. This is an upset, right? So upset CSV file. Click on this. Save. So here we have a three records, new records, one record. We are updating it. So click on the upset and choose here the object name candidate. And let's say I'm going to click on this browse. Browse and choose the record which is a upset. Click on open and the next button. A duplicate column ID is found. So do we have a ID in that field? Let's click on this duplicate field ID. Status, let's delete it. Delete this. Delete it. And here is one. Let's delete this. Now save. On this again, click on the next browse, upsert, open, and then click on this. Let's click on the success file. Let me delete this. N1, N2. Three, and then this is I'm updating it to the Suresh. Delete, delete, and let's save this success file. Now let me call where is the data loader. We have closed the data loader. Now let's say here, data loader. Now, absurd production login. Is my voice is clear? Are you guys able to hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So maybe they, uh, Tarun, 
and Srilata, just check from your end. So click on continue. And it's verifying the Salesforce username and password. Right now it is successful. Login is successful. Move to the second screen. Or in the second screen, let's take the candidate object, click on the browse. And we have it in the insert. We have updated the success file. Click on open and next. Initializing it, error. Okay, CSP file is having some error. Stun. Customly. I'm changing this because whenever we converted the numbers or a salary information, uh, that gets converted in the different format in the Excel. Browse, success file. And click on the next. So let's say same thing. Absurd. Candidate. Browse. Close the success file. see so the csp file is having a problem so basically absurd is nothing but where you are updating as well as inserting both records now delete is nothing but let's say for example you wanted to delete it so let's say here delete candidate object extract browse and let's say, what are the success file? I have made a changes to the success file. Let's click on extract, open, and click on the next one. Now it has a four rows. And click on this OK. Create or edit map, auto map. So basically, we need to match only the ID for the delete. For the delete, only the ID, we should be matching it and click on OK. So once it, you click on OK, Next, and click on the Finish button. And then click on Yes. It says that the number of records allowed in your recycle bin is a limited. The action you are about to take might cause it some issue, but it might may exist in your recycle bin. So whatever you are deleting it, it will be deleted from the object, but it will be there in the recycle bin. Now four records are deleted. Click on OK. Now if you go here, in the recycle bin, so right now on the candidate, you will be able to see only the four records. records are there and if you see in the recycle bin if you see in the recycle bin in the recycle bin there are four records which are deleted here now if you click on the export all so when you export it everything will be exported the one which are available in the object level as well as the one which are deleted. Let's say export all. 
dot csv now click on the save now click on the next button now i'm not going to choose the salary one i'll just take a candidate name candidate number i'll not take a cdc email address id and then i'll take location name only these values i'm going to take uh, no discredit and that's all click on finish Done. nine records are exported now if you see the extraction now these are the records it is got exported open ex external program that means whatever the extracted the file open it let's say here i'm going to create a new records created now let's say here i'm going to update one record which is arun kumar record and we have a id here let's say i'm modifying the arun kumar record to the something different number let's say shravan right and pat query let's say pat now this does not have id so wherever the id is available that means that is a existing record wherever the id is not available that means it is a new record so let's save this file save as whatever the export all is there we are going to save the export all so let's save this now let me try for the update let's try for the upsert click on the upsert candidates and click on the browse file export all click on open and the next no, it says error Let's delete the contact number, name, and we'll enter it. Ah, okay. Now it should work. So browse, export all, click on open, and the next button. So there are two reports. One report is I'm updating it, another report is I'm in inserting it click on ok now here for the upsert for the upsert it is going to ask what is the matching field so do you have a, any matching field matching field is id that means based on the id identify whether it is a new record or a existing record if i say id and then click on the next button no id click on next and create or edit auto match and then click on the and then click on the next button and finish so what is happening here it is one successful absurd one error now let's see which one is a updated shravan record is updated fine shravan record is created fine and what is the error error is pat pat is the new record id value is incorrect id value is incorrect basically this is insert this is insert let's open here Let me update this. 
let's say I'm going to update before the email ID is Shra Sai. Now let's say here Shravan. Right now, let's say here this is the location, and let's say so we have a only two records here. One is a new record, and another one is one is a new record, and another one is existing record. For the new record, we do not have a ID. So what I'll do is click on a save. Save. Upsert. Candidates, click on a browse. Export all, open. Click on the next button. And there are two reports. Let me choose the value. Select the ID in the Candidate, let's say here, name, click on next. In the position, position also you can take it as a name. Click on the next button. Finish. Now one record, it is two, two errors. What is the error? Now, if you want a detailed information about error, now here it is asking that name not found. Name not found. Now I'm going to Excel sheet. So what we need is position. This is the position. Let's copy this. Export all. I'll add another column, which is position. Form save. And I'm going to upsert candidates, browse, export all, open, and click on the next button, two rows. Now here on the candidate based on the ID and position also based on the ID. So candidate has a relationship with the position. So that's the reason we are seeing the two times ID it is asking. Click on OK. And then click on the next button and finish. Let's try one more time. Browse, export all. ID, click on the next. ID, create or edit, auto match the fields. Click on OK, next button, and then finish it. So it says one is successful and one is error. Let's see what is the error. It says that record ID is incorrect type. Record ID is incorrect type. Now, what we can do is, this time, let's do it in the, click on next two reports, and let's take it as a name, and let's go with ID. Click on the next, create or edit, Auto match the fields. Finish. I did not find the error. I did not find the name. Whatever the name is there, I did not find the name. Candidate name. Right, so I don't have a network properly. Maybe that's the reason you, are, you guys are getting an error here. So just try to play with these buttons. Okay, export, update, upsert, delete, export, all these all you will be able to see. 
So apart from the data loader, you have a one more option which is available, one more tool which is available is Workbench. So just search for a workbench.developer.com. So search for workbench.developer.com. Apart from the data loader, you also have a workbench.developer.com production. Click on this login with Salesforce and June batch click on allow. So this is a workbench. In this workbench also, if you want to know, if you want to know that which org you have connected, just over the June batch. So it will give you the information of username, instance, and org ID, user ID. Now in this specifically, you have to go for a data. Data, insert or a update, right? So these are the information. If you want to export it, go for a SQL query. Right, so in this SQL query, let's say for example, you wanted to export it for the, let's assume which records we have. Let's go with hiring manager. Now hiring manager, designation, email address, ID, and then selected the ID and location name query if you click on a query it will give you the query so in the workbench you need to go to the queries and sockel query in the topal query so here you need to select the bulk csv if you click on a bulk csv and click on a query so what will happen it will be exported as a csv it will be exported as a csv click on this download once you click on a download, you will be a, you will see that there is a one CSV file that gets created here. Let's open this. So this is a CSV file that got created. Right, for example, if you want to update, uh, let's say, Current CTC for everyone, it should be safe. Click on save. Now, if you want to update it, go to the data and update. And then hiring manager. Now, if you want to update from the file or a single record, choose it. If it is a file, just choose the from file, choose the file from the download, select the file and click on the next button. Now it will automatically show you the map the fields. ID, ID, whatever the based on the API address, API name, so it will be mapped automatically. So click on here, confirm update. So it is status is updated, updated, updated. Download the full result, it will download the full result. Open this full result. Now here it says, the updated one no all everybody's salary will be the current ctc is it safe now if you go to the salesforce in the salesforce go to the hiring manager click on all records let's say here select the fields to display current ctc click on save so everybody's salary is same. Yes. Similarly, you can try with upslot, delete, undelete, purge. The purge is nothing but if you want to, like for example, let's choose the file here. File is what are the record we have updated and choosing it. Now click on the next. Now map the Salesforce field to the column from the upload CSV file. So click on here, map fields and confirm purge. So invalid, invalid, no recycle bin error form. So basically purge is nothing but you are purging it. So if you have anything from the recycle bin, if you want to purge it, 
So you can use those reports. So what we have from the recycle bin. So go to the recycle bin. On this, where you have these records from the recycle bin. So what you can do is first export it. So I'll query and let's say client. There is a one record which is a client, which is nothing but an account record. So let's go to the account. Choose the account record. In the account record, I'll take a accounts number, account source, active, annual revenue, customer priority, description, industry, is client valid, name, PAN card number, fine. So these are the few information and query in here. So these are the details, but I need it where condition is filter by is deleted equal to total. Get me only the deleted records. Is deleted equal to so I don't have any records is deleted. Is this it? And let's click on it one. Include the deleted records and let's click on it. Worry. Now I'm going to see two records. Make sure you select this include. So if you select the include, it is going to include the deleted records. These are the deleted records which are available on the recycle bin. On this query, now it is exported. Let's export it bulk CSV file. So click on bulk CSV file export. So you cannot do it from the, it does not support the bulk queries. Right, so bulk CSV does not support the archived records. Let's do it from the, data loader. So from the workbench, you cannot export the deleted reports. You can query it, but you cannot export the deleted reports from the workbench. Only available from the data loader. So let's search here data loader. Click on this data loader. Say export all login production. Export it, confirm, continue. Let's say account house. Extract account dot CSV. Click on the save and click on the next button.
Select a few information here. I'm not going to select all the values here. Customer ID, priority. History. Okay. Now click on this finish. Now before that, I'm going to say here, where let's select here is deleted equals to value is true. So it is going to add where is deleted equal to true. Click on it finish two records successfully extracted. One record is FL234, and then these are the information. By using the work, workbench, I'm going to project. So let, click on this. So purge is nothing but permanently deletes the record from your recycling bin. So whatever is available from the recycling bin, it is going to delete it. So downloads. Output now here extract account. Extract account. Extract account, click on open. No plus for it. Click on this next and map the ID. So here I have a ID. From the CSV file, I do not have an ID. We do not have ID in the CS. We do not have an ID. Did not we choose the ID? Account, browse, extract, account, click on save, next. Second number. Industry is client valid. So I'm going to take ID also. Now condition is is equals to add the condition. Now click on the finish. Two records successfully created. Let's open this extract account. So I do not have a ID. So if I have a ID, I can delete it completely. But it is not pulling me the ID information. Okay. 
why it is not pulling the ID. is deleted equal to true. Click on this finish. Yes. Extraction. Then ID I got it. Now let's click on your finish close. Click on OK. Now, let's try again, like click on a purge from the file, click extract account, and click on the next button. Now we have a ID, map the field, confirm purge. So it is purged. So whatever the records are available in the recycle bin, all those records are get deleted from the Salesforce. Now, if you go to the recycle bin, click on this recycle bin. Account records are deleted permanently. So, purge is nothing but deleting the record. Now, you have an option here, undelete. If you click on this undelete, what will happen is confirm undelete. So, entity is not in the recycle bin. Undelete is paid. If you are doing the undelete, it has to be there in the recycle bin. So, once we do the purge, is nothing but it is completely deleting the record. So, that is about the workbench. So, using the workbench also, you can do the data loading, inserting, update, absurd, delete, undelete, purge. You can do it. From the query also, you can do the SQL. Like a normal SQL query, you can do it. And either you can view the output here or you can bulk CSV also you can do it. Bulk CSV also you can do it. So that's about the workbench. So this is all about the data loader and workbench. Still you guys are not able to hear me. Hear yeah, me, madam. Okay, so maybe some members are having a problem. 